Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 24 of the Microsoft Word tutorial series and today we're going to discuss about how to uh, add in backgrounds, borders and watermarks inside of a Microsoft Word document. So over here you can see that there's a Microsoft Word document. What you can simply do is you can go into the design section right here. And on the right hand side you have the watermark, the paste color and the paste border right here. So over here let's start with the paste color and you can see that there are a lot of colors. So if you want a colored paste then you can simply select the color as you can see and I suggest that not uh, you shouldn't do this to actually uh, pages that you print because you'll waste up a lot of ink so uh, do get some uh, let's say printed color paper and then print it on white itself if you want to um, print in color paper but however uh, if you want to pr print graphic design elements then that's all uh, all right so now just choose the color you want let's say for example I'm going to choose green and you can see that the entire page actually uh, has color green on it but you can see that there's a problem that you actually see white all around that's because the background color for text is set so to correct that I'm gonna go back to the home menu and over here you can see that in the theme color on the text fill you yeah, there's actually white selected so I'm gonna say no color and you can see that that will actually remove the whole bit so I'm gonna, just gonna select uh, no color on this and you can see that no color uh, get applied to the whole document and you can see that the document is actually now colored green now so I'm, I'm gonna go back to design and I'm gonna change this back to no color and over here you can see that you can also apply paste borders so if I were to click it you can see that you get the border option right here and you can select the type of border you want so on the style I'm just gonna say, say normal and I can enable the border by clicking on these right now so you can just have top and bottom border and you can see that the top and bottom border is there so I can also go over here and then choose the different uh, weight for the border and maybe I want to add a different style to the border as you can see there are many styles right here so I can choose this kind of a style increase the point style and even add artistic styles if it is an, in an informal document right here so I'm not gonna choose that just gonna press ok uh, right here and alright I uh, haven't done it so so over here I'm gonna press none for, uh, I'm gonna go and select the style of the border I want and then I'm going to add it just on the side so you can see that now the border has been applied just like that as you want it to so that is how you apply page border and then these are some informal borders as discussed press ok and you can see that there's informal borders this is actually very good for parties and stuffs like that so you can also have 3d effect over here so let me taste the border like this and choose 3d and press ok and you can see that there's a 3d look border just like that so you can also add in a shadow or something so you can see that there's a shadow over here and you can also choose the color of the document and press OK and you can see that there's a shadow of its border which it makes it uh, which makes it seems as if it is popping out of the piece. So over here you can see that you can easily add in designs to all of the pages quite easily uh, for a unique look. So over here this is the page border and this is the page color right here and over here you can also choose custom colors go, go to more colors and choose the color you want just like that. So I'm gonna choose a very um, light yellow just like this and press OK and you can see that the entire document color has been changed just like that. So over here finally there's the watermark over here and here you can actually find some presets so if you were to click this you can see that confidential has been actually applied over here so that's the watermark and that is behind the text just do not copy and so forth which are um, uh, simple presets. What you can also do is you can go into custom watermarks right here and in custom watermarks you can have text watermarks so you can type in something like tutor tube right here and choose the font uh, that you want and press OK and that will actually apply the tutor tube font just like that. You can also add in um, uh, pictures as watermarks so just go to uh, custom watermarks over here you can even go to no watermark or picture watermark and you can also go for scale so just select the picture right here and then alright so please wait while we load the pictures so you can see that uh, there's from file being in this R1 drive so I'm just gonna go browse right here so on to I'm gonna use a default picture that's on my PC right here so I guess like in the same picture alright there's nothing so I'm gonna go on to my tutorial folder to get the logo alright so I have this texture logo right here I'm just gonna press insert 
and press apply and you can see that that has been applied you can also choose the washout level over here so 500 percent apply so you can see that the washout is actually being scaled out right there so you can see the scale down version apply if you disable the washout it actually has a normal picture right here i'm going to choose washout anyways so i can increase uh, the scale of the picture just like that and you can see that the watermark can be added just like that all right, so that is how you can actually um, uh, format the backgrounds, uh, change the borders, and apply watermarks and documents inside of Microsoft Word. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.